I'm like, are you pulled over right now, ma'am? I don't know. I'm kind of being a rubbernecker a little bit. There's a cop parked like right next to me. I can back out, but he's like, oh, and then there's girls standing over here. Something's going down. I just don't know what it is. Anyways, um... I just walked out of Target, so before we hop into Operation Hot Girl Summer, let me show you what I got at Target. <laughs> Only a couple things. So I got two of these pillows, sort of redoing our um, living room a little bit. I just put a new rug in there, and I just, I'm not loving it. So I'm gonna move that rug to the bedroom, which I think I am going to love in the bedroom. I also ordered a new rug, and it came in for our front room, so I'm moving the front room rug that I just bought to the guest room, which I think I'm gonna love there. I already know I'm gonna love, because it matches everything in that room. Toning down the front room. It's just like too much orange. I don't know. I just like I'm not feeling it. So I bought like a navy one. Um, like navy and cream. And it, I can already tell that I love it. It's really cute. So haven't rolled it out yet. But I'll update you. Anyways, the living room. I'm doing like a lighter rug. And we're doing like lots of neutral pillows. And just like light, bright, simple. So anyways, I got two of those. 20 bucks each. I hate pillows. They're so expensive. Um, and then I also got a room spray which is this hearth and hand with magnolia in the, can y'all see that? There we go. In the fragrance salt. Um, this is what I want my entire life to smell like for the, like forever. I want my house to smell like this for the rest of my life. It is so good. I got this candle last week and I'm obsessed with it. And I got the little one cause those candles are expensive. It was a tiny candle for 10 bucks and I only bought it because I'm obsessed with it. And it came in a cute, like, I don't know, whatever candles come in. <laughs> jar I guess I don't know so anyways very cute that's what I got at Target now I'm about to head to Whole Foods for my only eating out of the week which is gonna be sushi yesterday was Father's Day so I didn't get home till like nine o'clock didn't really plan anything I have however already ordered my healthy grocery haul for the week Morgan left town so I'm on my own um, I have great plans for this salad I'm gonna recreate that was delicious from a restaurant had salmon oh it was so good so stay tuned for that, um, probably in a wedding in a day, posted soon after this video. But I will show you my grocery haul tonight. I got lots of great stuff, easy, easy stuff that's going to fit in my plan, that's going to be healthy, vegetables, high protein, all of those good things, but it's going to be so easy and like 15 minute meals basically. So that is the goal. Keep it simple. Stick to the goals. I also made goals in my notes app and made them like a checkbox so I can check them off every day. My goals this week, I got an exercise bike also, so I'll show you guys that. I'm very excited. I will do my first workout on it today. Morgan put it together for me yesterday. So my goals are to work out after work, eat, okay, minus the whole food sushi, eat at home, um, and like bring my lunch every day, drink three yetis of water on top of my typical carbonated waters which do count as water um i drink probably like three carbonated waters a day but only like one yeti so i would like to drink like three yetis just up my water game don't think i'm ready for like a full gallon situation but up the water game work out eat at home and that's it i was going to um walk chance before work but it seems that it's going to be raining this week in the morning so that kind of sucks anyways that's the plan i'm about to head to whole foods get some sushi i'll show it to you then we are going to pick up healthy groceries i'll do a grocery haul we're going to do a killer workout and i'll show you what i'm having for dinner tonight which is also going to be lunch for tomorrow so yay <laughs> Okay, it's a literal million degrees. We have not had a humid day like this. Like, I couldn't even tell you when. But, look what I got at Whole Foods. I was going to go to Trader Joe's tomorrow to see if they had peonies. And look, Whole Foods had them. So, I got a bouquet of those. Those were actually $14.99. So, pretty expensive. But, oh, uh, they're just gorgeous. I'm obsessed. And then I also got um, a bouquet of hydrangeas, which was like $6.99. I love, I love fresh flowers. I really stopped doing that for like a year. I like, haven't really been doing it since me and Morgan moved in together. I used to do fresh flowers a lot at my apartment. Um, and it's just something I want to get back into. Sometimes he surprised me, surprises me with flowers too. Um, 
but obviously he's been out of town and I like to stock them for myself. So, dang, I need to get back to work. Um, I got those, I'll go put them in some water at work and they'll just sit at my desk until I leave. But I did get a sushi roll, spicy rainbow roll. So it's got tuna and salmon and it's actually brown rice because they didn't have a white rice one. I've never had brown rice sushi, but I'm sure that it's fine. Um, oh, awesome. There's no, there's no nutritional info. Awesome. I'm sure that it will probably be on their website or something because that's a roll they usually always have. Um, and then I also got this little package of carrots and celery just for work um for like snacks in the afternoon because usually I want something to go with my sushi and I just feel like that was a good was a good choice on my part so that is what we got I really just want to sit here and eat this but I need to get back to work um and since I'm kind of far from work I need, I need to start driving now so anyways that's my little haul and I'll show you what I got at the grocery store in the next clip all right, y'all, so here is the grocery haul, kind of random, um, randomly laid out, but let's, okay, why is this upside down? I don't know. Let's start with protein. So for protein for the week, I bought pre-cooked shredded white meat chicken. Obviously, you can shred your own chicken. I do sometimes, but you know, we're keeping it easy. So I did buy this this week. Um, I also got this salmon, which if you can see, it's two portions of salmon. So I picked up that for some salads that I'm trying to recreate and some extra lean ground beef for tacos and um, like rice bowls and stuff. As far as lettuce, I got just hearts of romaine and a baby spring mix. So I'm going to do a mix of those for some real big salads this week. I'm also going to use them on tacos tonight. Um, as far as vegetables, I'm trying these this week. I never eat these, but I just want to kind of see. I've been seeing them on TikTok a lot. So I picked up this one, Mediterranean blend, potatoes, zucchini, carrots, and Mediterranean seasoning. So you just microwave them. They are frozen. This Tuscan steamed broccoli, somebody, I want to say it was Trixie19 is her like username on Instagram and YouTube. It's like with like three X's. Um, I want to say she said that the Tuscan seasoned broccoli is really good. I think it was her. Um, so I got that one. And then I also got the broccoli and cheese sauce because I saw, I think it was also her, um, somebody on TikTok mixed it with a little bit of pasta and some chicken. And I'm going to do that for a really simple meal this week. I'll probably, you know, turn it into two meals. Yeah, this is two and a half servings. So I'll probably turn that into two meals over the week, maybe a dinner and then lunch the following day. I got two red onions because I really want to try pickling them. I'm not a huge onion fan, but I do love the pickled red onions at Panera on their salad. So I wanted to try it. I got a recipe from Amanda Lewis over Amanda Evolving. I love her. She sent me her recipe, so I got the stuff for that. Um, I think I might just start with one and then um, there's so many recipes. Maybe try be a, try a second recipe with the second one. I didn't know how big they were going to be, so I got two to be safe. Also, a cucumber for salads and for that tuna snack that I love. Uh, if you haven't seen that, it's in my TikTok video. It's like tuna mixed with sriracha and mayo. And you top it on cucumber slices and eat it with soy sauce. It's like sushi. Uh, it's delish. Two Roma tomatoes for salads. These low carb, wrap, low carb wraps are my favorite. I think these are 50 calories. Yeah. The Olay Wellness are also good, but truly I think that these just taste better and they have pretty much the same um, macros. So that is what I get. Three taco seasoning packets because the only one we have is that Trader Joe's one. And I know that I used too much the last time, but it was so spicy. I'm just like scarred. I'm not ready to try it again. So I wanted to stock up on the good stuff. Also, I picked up Olive Garden Light Italian. I haven't had this in so long, but it's bomb. So I wanted to pick up that. If you're new to this, this is a really great lower calorie um, salad dressing. 30 calories for two tablespoons. Tastes exactly like Olive Garden. You don't even need the full fat one. It tastes exactly the same. Trash bags because we're almost out. Some creamer for Morgan because he ran out this weekend and obviously we'll want some when he's home this weekend. So I got him the Italian sweet cream. That's his favorite. And they had the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. They haven't had the like fun flavors in a while. So since I saw it, I decided to add that um, for this week. I think he'll appreciate it. And I will try this one too now that I can actually taste things normally. And then I did also get the white wine vinegar and the apple cider vinegar for Amanda's um, recipe for the onions. Excited about that. 
This is that candle I was talking about earlier, the Hearth and Hand Salt Candle. How freaking cute is that? But this baby candle cost me 10 bucks. Honestly, I would pay $10 for just this without the candle, so it is what it is. Um, and then, of course, that spray that I shared with y'all earlier. And I also picked up these because there was a coupon. If you bought this and something else, you got like $3 off, but then they didn't have the other thing. I don't know. Like, I ordered it, and then I got the notification that said they didn't have it, so they deleted it. So I'm like, did I still get the savings? Anyways, glass wipes because Morgan's out in his car. That's why I actually got these. Um... And they didn't have the other items. So I don't know if we got the savings or not. But those are for his truck. Um, and yeah, that's... Okay, let's focus. That is the haul for the week. We're keeping it super simple. We're going to be making some salads with salmon. This is going to be tacos. Probably dinner tonight and lunch tomorrow tacos. Y'all see that here in a minute. Um, also probably going to use the other half of the pound to do my like Asian rice bowls with some vegetables. Maybe with this. Vegetables, rice this with a like Asian style sauce, maybe the gyoza one this time from Trader Joe's, really good. The chicken is gonna go on um, probably also a salad, wraps, chicken bowls, add some like taco sauce, make a little taco wrap, barbecue chicken pizza on a tortilla, barbecue chicken quesadilla, so many options. Um, snacks, salads, salads. The red onions are going to go on salads. Hopefully my tacos tomorrow also. I'm just going to let them kind of pickle overnight. We're going to have a really great week. Okay, y'all, I put on a little cute workout outfit, even though I'm home alone and no one's going to see it. It's fine. Um, just threw my hair up. This top is from a random boutique online. It was like a Facebook ad. I'll try to find it. I think it's still in my email somewhere. Um, but it's really cute. It's got like a mesh back and then a tie, which is nice. And it's like really cropped. So super comfortable. I also have it in charcoal gray. Very cute. These leggings are from, I think my Ellie subscription at some point. Um, Nike shoes from a million years ago. And that's the fit. Just normal sports bra. Threw my hair up. Now let me show you the bike. I'm so excited. Also, if y'all caught my Instagram story the other day where I went shopping, this is where that Target plant ended up. So that's kind of like what that looks like. I do feel like the rug needs to go. I've had it for years. I mean, look at it. It's looking rough. Um, should I put another rug down? I thought maybe a circle one, like a little woven like medallion one could be cute. I'll put up a picture of what I'm talking about. Should I put one under there in front of it? No rug. I'm just not sure. Unsure. So let me know what you think from a design standpoint should replace the fuzz rug. Oh, are you ready to go outside? Are you ready to go outside? No? Say I'm ready for my dad to come home. <gasps> he knows what that means. I know, baby. I'm sorry. Okay, and then also, this is what the couch is looking like. So we're replacing this rug with a lighter rug that's like all beige and tan. It's going to be really nice. And it just really brightened it up. Um, our couch is looking, you know, rough. It needs to be fluffed and such. But that's what we got. So... These two are from Target. This one is, has a different, you know, it's lighter on the other side, but I like the green. It's like a sage green. I know it kind of looks gray, but it is green. Um, these, again, Target, also Target. For this one, that one's Home Goods a million years ago. I'm going to replace it once I find a cream one that I like, I think. This new throw, also from Target, like $20. And we have another of the uh, stripes. So, that's what it's looking like so far. I really want an olive tree branch. Oh, wait, olive tree, like a faux one in this corner. How pretty would that look? Lauren, post a photo here of what you're talking about. Right there in that corner. I think that would look really cool and kind of tie in that green color. I'm liking it. Okay, the moment we have all been waiting for is the bike. I will link it for you down below if you want one. Full disclosure, I did get this for free. This company sent it to me to try out. Been really wanting a bike, just something that I can work out um, on at home. And I'm so incredibly thankful for them sending me this. And I will give y'all a full review once I try it for the very first time. This is our Goodwill area, so just ignore that. But I need to set up the, um, you know, thingy. And it also does come with this heart monitor situation if you'd like to wear that and what I really like is that I can put my iPad up here and I'm gonna get the Peloton 
app, I think, eventually. I'm going to do just a free workout today on YouTube. My friend Miranda has a couple um, that she likes, so I'm going to test out some of those. But yes, ma'am, we are very, very excited. And Morgan should fit on it too. It's fully adjustable. You can uh, make the handlebars higher. You can scoot the seat up and down. It's got a place for water. Um, this changes the resistance. So it's got pretty much everything you would need and it is at a fraction of the price of a Peloton and you can still pay $12.99 for the Peloton app. So honestly, it's like a win, win, win for me. Um, super obsessed. So I will link it for you down below, but I will give you a full review after today's workout. Okay, I just did a 20 minute workout and I feel like I might be dying. So this video may never see the light of day. Oh my God. I couldn't even do it. Like, okay, I did this beginner. I'll put it, I'll do a screenshot of the video. Oh, I'm jello, you guys. I did a beginner, like 90s themed 20 minute. I thought, okay, I'm gonna do this, then I'm gonna do my Mari home guides, which is a different workout. No, ma'am, I will not be doing those this week. I'm gonna have to get used to that bike. Holy moly. Oh, that was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Also, the like up when you're like standing and pedaling on the bike, that is really hard. That is really freaking hard. Oh my gosh. Okay, I forgot to bring my water in there. So I was waterless. It was only 20 minutes, otherwise I would have stopped, but that thing is solid though. It feels very sturdy. I feel comfortable on it. It's awesome. I, I think I'm gonna make a smoothie actually and then give myself a little bit. It's already 6.30, but I feel like I just need something refreshing. I'm cooking a taco right now. Okay, I want that tonight. I just want it right now and I do feel like I need something. So I'm gonna make a smoothie. I'll set the camera up, show you what I'm gonna put inside. Okay, sorry about the background. I haven't put away any of the pantry stuff, as you can tell, but got a little, just a little bit of ice down in there. I'm gonna try not to make a huge one. And Morgan always makes fun of me because I make like massive smoothies and I don't mean to. Um, I'm just gonna use this triple berry blend. I think this is from Walmart or something. Honestly, I don't know. So like, I don't know, a half cup of that. And then I'm gonna finish off the dragon fruit. We just have like a little chunk of it. So dump that in there. I'm gonna do just a little bit of banana because I love the creaminess, just like a fourth. Um, this is just like a baby smoothie. And I think I'm gonna try the ghost protein. This is fruity cereal milk. I don't know that this is gonna be any good. I've had it like with just milk with Morgan, uh, but I haven't had it, I'm just gonna do like a half scoop um, since I'm doing like a half smoothie. I haven't had it with like fruit yet, so we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna do a half a scoop of that. One scoop is, one rounded scoop is 120 calories and 25 protein. So I'm getting about 12 protein, 60 calories from that, um, and then I'm just gonna use oat milk. Um, I don't know how much, maybe like a cup. <sighs> okay. Just need something cool and refreshing to pump me up after that workout so I can cook and do all the things. Okay, smoothie, delicious. The, um, that cereal milk is very sweet. The cereal milk protein, mm-hmm. Really good. Mm. This tastes like sherbet, like ice cream or sorbet or whatever it's called. Mm. Like, 
I can't get over this. This tastes like something you'd get at like a theme park. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's the way to go. Fruity cereal milk with berries. I'm in heaven. Mmm. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this. Honestly, I'm just gonna sit for a minute. I'm gonna have some water. I've only finished one Yeti. So I'm gonna fill up Yeti number two. Drink this, relax for a minute. I have some orders I need to pack tonight. So I need to kind of regroup and then I'll either pack orders or make dinner. But y'all will see dinner. I'm gonna make those red onions to the pickled red onions tonight. Oh, we need to put the fruit away. Fruit away. And I'll tell them like, your girl hasn't worked out in a minute. Mm. All right. See you at dinner. Hey y'all, I'm about to do the red onions. I think I'm just gonna start with one for today. Um, so I'm just using my small mason jar, mason jar lid. You can get plastic mason jar lids at like Walmart, local grocery stores. They're very inexpensive. I think I got a six pack for like three bucks or something. Um, leak proof. They're even the ball brand. I've had these a while, but anyways, that's what I'm using. <clears throat> um, Amanda's recipe is a fourth cup apple cider vinegar, a fourth cup of white wine vinegar, a half cup of water, an onion. Uh, she said thin sliced, as thin as possible. Half tablespoon of sugar and the juice of one lemon or one lime. I forgot to get that, but I do have like lemon juice. So I'm gonna do like two tablespoons of this. And that'll be it. Any sweetener, she said, I'm gonna use just regular like white sugar that you would bake with because it's only a half tablespoon. I'm not like concerned about calories or anything for that. So that's the plan, clean hands. Let's do it. Actually haven't <clears throat> ever cut a red onion, so. Okay, half cup of water. This is warm water. I don't know that it matters, but I uh, saw a lot of people use warm. So half cup of that. <clears throat> okay, fourth cup of white wine vinegar. Okay, almost out of room. Okay, we're using lime because I couldn't get the lemon open. Oh great, now I can't get the lime open. Okay. Gonna give it a shake. And I'm going to put these in the fridge for tomorrow or for, you know, the next couple of weeks. All right, y'all. It is taco time. Yay. So I'm going to cook up about half of the ground beef with some of this taco seasoning. Peppers and onions. These are frozen. Just get some extra veggies in that way. Top it with lettuce, mild salsa, which is really not that mild. <laughs> mild sliced jalapenos. These are my current obsession. I have been putting them on everything. They're so good. Light sour cream. Trader Joe's spicy taco sauce. These are the wraps, of course. And I have some leftover Spanish rice from last night. We had fajitas at my parents' house for Father's Day. And um, yeah, I brought some Spanish rice home. So I'm gonna have that on the side. Basically use Cavender's as if it's salt and pepper. Just a lot of flavor. I love to add a little bit of taco sauce to my meat instead of water. Just extra flavor. 
Okay, almost forgot to show you all the tacos. Here's the pretty one, all pretty for the photo. Have some rice under here. I weighed it, it's 80 grams of rice. And this is what it looks like when I eat it. I spread everything out. <laughs> and that is what we're eating for dinner. All right, y'all, closing up the dishwasher. Got some orders ready to go out. I need the tape. I don't know where my freaking tape is. I'm gonna have to tape it at work and mail that one out. Um, I'm exhausted. I'm so exhausted. Me and Morgan were FaceTiming for a little while or talking on the phone for a little while and um, I have some orders to pack. So he was like, okay, we'll just text me. We like don't have service in our house to talk on the phone. So we have to sit outside whenever we're talking or we have to FaceTime, but he was outside the hotel so he couldn't FaceTime anyways. Uh, he was like, yeah, just text me. And I could tell he was going to fall asleep. And I was like, okay, well, just in case that you fall asleep, let's say goodnight. And he was like, okay, but I'm not, like, I'll be awake. I texted him and he's not awake. I even tried to call him just to see, but no, he's asleep, which I don't blame him. He got up really early. He hardly got any sleep last night. Ooh, and then he had to drive the rest of the way to Oklahoma. So anyways, um, I still haven't put away these trash bags and... Honestly, it can wait. It'll just have to wait. I'm feeling so good though. I got my workout on. I feel very good about um, my day of eating today. The calories are almost like perfect. I'll put everything on the screen and or down below or something if you're interested in how much I ate and how much protein and stuff I got in. Um, Hutchie's back there eating. Oh, that's the living room. I thought that was a hallway, and I was like, what is in there? Um, that would be the living room, the laundry basket. Hi, Chancey. Chance is, it's literally so sad. He just keeps going to the front door thinking that Morgan's going to walk through it, and he doesn't. <sighs> Anyways, um, I'm excited for how today went. I feel really confident. Um, I'm excited to get on the bike again tomorrow, even though I know I'm gonna be sore. I'm already feeling a little sore, so I'm about to go take a hot shower. I was gonna take a bath, but it's already 9.30 and I'm just exhausted, so I don't know that I will take a bath. I might just hop in the shower so I can get in bed. I'm so exhausted. It's been a long day. It's been a good day. Thank you for joining me. Stay tuned on this journey. It's, I kind of feel like I'm like, it's like weight loss journey part two. Like I had my original weight loss journey, lost, you know, 65 pounds, have kept majority of it off. Um, and just had that, you know, I guess end of quarantine weight. I don't really know what it was, but once I reached that maintenance calories, I just went a little wild. And so just trying to get off that and get back to where I was last year. And it is a whole new journey. It literally feels like a whole a whole new, I don't know. It's hard to explain. Um, it no longer feels like I'm continuing the same journey. I feel like this is a brand new journey. Um, kind of like starting, not like starting over, but just kind of starting a new chapter, starting fresh, a new book maybe. I don't know. Definitely feels different. I'm feeling really good about everything. I'm happy to be working out again. I'm so, so happy about that bike. I'm loving it. Uh, like I said, it feels so sturdy. I think I'm going to download the Peloton app, which is like $13 a month. Um, so I can join those classes and stuff. Uh, but for now, I think I'm just going to stick with the YouTube ones. Um, but yeah, I'll probably download that Peloton app because 13 bucks a month is going to be so worth it. Um, I know like some of my friends have it. So I think you can like, I don't know, like add people or something. I don't know how that works, honestly. But anyways, I'm excited. It's been a great, it's been a great day. We've got a good start to the week. I'm rambling, but I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you choose to stick around. If you're not already subscribed, feel free, join me. It's kind of a hot mess, but we're keeping it real over here. We're just doing the best we can. So me and the pets, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.